Hi, I'm Clara. Welcome to FYI News Bite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. Send them back. Libyan rebels are demanding that Algeria return Muammar Gaddafi's wife and three of his children for trial. The Libyan leader's family fled to Algeria while Gaddafi himself and several other sons remain at large. The departure of Gaddafi's family is one of the strongest signs yet that the longtime leader has lost his grip on the country. Meanwhile, rebel fighters backed by an escalating NATO bombing campaign are gathering at the Libyan leader's hometown of Sirt amid speculation he might be hiding there. You could call it a miracle escape. 22 coal miners have been rescued from a flooded pit in China. They've been trapped underground for a week. The men were trapped in the mine near the city of Kitai on August 23rd when they broke through an adjacent flooded pit. Hopes for the miners were revived on Sunday after noises were detected through a 280 metre pipe drilled to allow fresh air into the pit. The mine was illegal and had been shut down in 2007. People stateside are counting the cost of Irene. The death toll has now passed 44. From North Carolina to Maine, communities are trying to clean up and take stock. New Jersey rivers burst their banks, causing record floods in some places. We lost everything in the basement. The furnace is gone, the oil is gone. The, the river basically went in one door and, and broke open another one in the foundation to get out. We still have rivers that have yet to crest. The uh, River Forecast Center for the Northeast was reporting that some of these rivers may not crest for two to three days, so the extent of impacts we still won't know. Dramatic footage has emerged of a house on fire there. The home was surrounded by flooding caused by Hurricane Irene, making it difficult for crews to get to. A 32-year-old man is appearing at Dublin District Court today, charged with a murder in Tala. 23-year-old John Murdoch was stabbed to death near a shop in Cushlawn Dale on Saturday morning. A man has been arrested and questioned for two days at Talagartha Station. President Obama's uncle has been arrested on drunken driving charges in Massachusetts. 67-year-old Onyango Obama was taken into custody last week after being pulled over by an unmarked police car. According to a police report, when offered a call from custody, Obama said, I think I'll call the White House. He's being held without bail on an immigration detainer. Clashes have broken out in South Africa over a young politician. Police detonated stun grenades and fired water cannons at hundreds of supporters of South Africa's ruling Youth League. It came ahead of a disciplinary hearing for ANC youth leader Julius Malema. He's landed himself in hot water because of a statement saying the youth party wants to help oust the government of neighbouring Botswana. And what better way to honour the King of Pop's birthday than with an impromptu dance-off? Members of the Thrill the World flash mob performed to Michael Jackson songs outside Man's Chinese Theatre in LA. It would have been Jackson's 53rd birthday. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At five, watch out road users, it's all aboard for a canine road trip and this dog's lapping it up. In at four today, who didn't see the seesaw? Oh! At three, when Star Wars meets adorable. In at two, is it just me or can you see right through this TV performance? Here, this is real. <laughs> the green shirt you're wearing and it just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And at number one today, when Hurricane Irene strikes, it's time for a rain dance with a difference. Tune in to FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories. Plus, catch up on today's tech news with Christine. And Paul will be here with sport. We'll see you back here at 6, right here on 3E.